Hi friends and welcome to the next video. In this video, I have nine reasons why you suck at drums. <laughs> okay, now I know this sounds kind of harsh, but I want to get your attention because there's something very important that we have to talk about in this video. A lot of this stuff nobody ever talks about. Maybe, you, you know, things that you talk about with your teacher or somebody you trust a lot, but I see a lot of people out there, you know, spinning their wheels and doing things uh, in a way that's completely inefficient. And also things that you need to know as a player, okay? Uh, things about the journey of drumming. So let's get into it right away. I have the nine things right here on a list for you. The first reason why you suck okay, is this, you don't believe in yourself. You don't have belief in yourself. Now, what do I mean by that? It's a really deep situation because what happens when you, when you try to pursue a dream, when you have a vision, people aren't going to like that. The world is going to be against you trying to be outstanding in anything. Okay, they want you to conform. They want you to, to get married and have a job and, and uh, have a girlfriend or a, or a wife and have a kid and have a car and a house and all that. And if you don't have a house by the time you're 30, you're a complete failure. Okay, now, what does that tell you? Society is gonna do everything possible to try to squash your dream. And if you don't believe in yourself at a very deep level, you will succumb to the pressure, okay? Now, the kind of belief in yourself uh, that I mean is one that is seriously deep and profound. Like, you absolutely have to know that you can overcome the challenges of this career, okay? Uh, not, not only in the career, but in drumming. Drumming is a huge, huge monster of an, an accomplishment, let's say, okay? If you wanna be a great drummer, you have to conquer so many things, not only in your mind, but with your body, as we all know, okay? So uh, a, a really deep belief in yourself also gives off incredible energy. Now, it gives off a confidence. It makes you confident in ways that people will notice. People will see that if you are really confident, almost arrogant. I don't want to say arrogant, but almost to the point where people can see in your eyes that you don't have any doubt at all. They're going to think twice about telling you something. Nevertheless, there's always going to be somebody, right? But belief in yourself not only gives you the power to endure any kind of situation, it also makes others aware that you are totally committed to what you're going to do. When you have a deep belief in yourself and people can see it coming out of your very body, okay? That's what I mean. All right, the next issue is getting out of your comfort zone. You suck because you can't get out of your comfort zone, all right? Now, what do I mean by this? You think two hours a day is going to be enough to practice, to uh, be a great drummer? Not even close. Not even close. Now, two hours a day is great for someone who ha already has amassed a huge uh, vocabulary and who's done a lot of things. And you, you call that maintenance practicing. You know, two hours a day, you learning things, and, you know. But at first, if you want to be a great drummer, you got to put in enormous amounts of hours. And that means getting out of your comfort zone. That means waking up in the morning, getting right on the kit, doing everything you can to get better. Okay, I'm just going to tell you a real quick story here. When I was a student at PIT, well, we used to do this thing called shock your body practicing. Okay, so basically it was practice, practice, practice until you were basically passing out on the kit. Okay, so you'd, you'd be playing and you'd pass out for like two or three seconds, but your hands keep moving. You, you fall asleep, but, and then wake up three seconds later and your hands are still playing, you know, which was so bizarre. 
shocking your body, like traumatizing yourself into learning whatever it is you had to learn. There are exercises that are extremely difficult and take massive amount of hours in concentration to get into your muscles so that you can do it, you know, eventually. And uh, this type of practicing helps a lot. I know people are gonna say, oh, you're crazy, blah, 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 but that's what you have to do. You have to have that level of commitment to try things that are, are going to get you to the next level, right? Uh, and, and that is not comfortable, okay? That is a really harsh way uh, to practice. By the way, you have, a, you have to have a system, okay? A practice system when you do this. You just don't randomly practice, whatever. You, you have that whole entire system on my lesson site, okay? You must absolutely follow a practice system or else this, you know, shock your body practicing isn't gonna work at all. Okay, but um, now, what I used to do is uh, when I couldn't play anymore, I was really like completely gone, I'd have a pillow and I'd put it, I know, I'd put myself next to the drum set. I would just fall asleep on the floor next to the kit, okay? And then set my alarm for one hour. I'd set the alarm, that alarm went off, I woke up, I got back on the kit, and I, I started practicing again from when I left off. And I'd go until I'd pass out again, and then lay down again. Now, you can't do this a whole lot. You can't do this forever, okay? In fact, when I was younger, I, I was doing this, and I got so skinny, okay? I didn't know how to eat. I didn't know how to take care of myself. I just all I wanted was to be a great drummer. That's the only thing. I was like a completely blind to anything else. And I would do anything, experiment on anything, any method that got me better, okay? Uh, but I paid a price for this. I became really skinny and, uh, and I wasn't eating properly. And uh, you know, the other guys around me were doing this too. There was an Italian guy who all he did was drink coffee and smoke cigarettes. And he, after six months of doing this kind of stuff, he became really ill. He had a, a, a physical problem that was, wow, man. And we, we saw that and we went, okay, we better cool it with this and figure out what, what to do better. But uh, that's what I mean by getting out of your comfort zone. If you're in bed at six in the morning, all warm and cozy and not practicing, you're not gonna make it, okay? You have to get out of your comfort zone and do whatever it takes to get better. But one of the things I, I like to say is don't do your best, do whatever it takes. Sometimes your best isn't good enough, as we all know, and you have to overcome that in a very serious way, okay? Doing, what, doing your best and not doing what it takes is a guarantee that you will suck at drums, okay? All right, the next thing. The wrong people around you, okay? Wrong people around you are gonna give you negativity. So we touched on this briefly, uh, but they're gonna wanna destroy your dream. They don't want you to be better. They don't want you to see you successful. You know, they're, unfortunately, this happens all the time. I've, I've seen even my students in India, you know, they, they get beat down by their friends with their family. Oh, you have to be a doctor or you have to be an engineer or something like that. And there's a tremendous pressure to quit drumming and do things that your, you know, society will uh, be, you know, supposedly you'll be okay with society if you do these things. Now, those are the completely wrong people around you. You have to be willing to get rid of them. I don't care if there's friends for a long time, even family members, okay? I've blocked out family members when they started getting on my nerves the years after years of saying, you know, oh, why don't you get married or why don't you drive a Mercedes and what, you know, you know, that was so ridiculous to me and it was so abusive that I had to cut them off. I literally would say to them, if you continue to talk to me this way, I'm gonna cut you off. I'm warning you. Oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here, check it out. Boom. And I never talked to them again until they got their act together, okay? That's the, the wrong people around you. You have to be willing to cut them off, okay? Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is wrong thinking about music. Now, if you're in music to be famous or to get rich, man, you are never gonna dominate your instrument, okay? <laughs> because that it doesn't motivate you to do the things that you need to do. 
to be famous, you have to schmooze with whoever, whatever, uh, you know, a record company exec. I'm, I'm, I've been around for so long, I, think, I keep thinking about record company executives. <laughs> I'm completely removed from that world, right? I do my own thing and that's it. I don't let anybody control my music and stuff like that. Um, but if you're in music for the wrong reasons, it's a guarantee that you will suck at drums, okay? If you're in music for money, forget it, okay? <laughs> that's really a guarantee uh, that you're going to suck. Uh, because that not, that's not going to motivate you enough to do the things that you need to do to overcome the extreme difficulty of becoming a really great player. The, the, uh, the massive amount of work you have to do uh, will never be accomplished by thinking you're going to be rich. Because year after year is going to go by and you're going to be poor, okay? You're going to have to be pouring that energy into getting better. You're not going to be pouring it into making money, you know, selling real estate. I was studying with Richard Wilson one time. <laughs> and my father wanted me to get into real estate, right? So I, I dabbled in real estate for a minute. And Richard, I went to my lesson with Richard and he's like, what do you want to do? Sell real estate the rest of your life? Get serious. You know, it was a complete opposite from, from mentor type of guys saying, what are you doing uh, doing this, this money thing? You get on the drums for God's sake, you know. So uh, wrong thinking about music will derail you really fast from the journey of becoming a great player, okay? Uh, now this, this brings me to the next thing, which is the spiritual journey, okay? The spiritual journey in drumming. You will not suck if you embrace the spiritual journey. And, and learning drums, you know, breaking down your body, making everything do what it's supposed to do, it's like, a, a, it's like an awakening, okay? <laughs> It's like a total breakdown of your ego, of your self, and of being reborn as a man, okay? As a man, as a responsible man that had a dream and you are accomplishing. When every time things you start to get better, you know, you, you feel this incredible growth and it changes you as a human being. You start to become a man. The spiritual journey of this begins there. After that, you're gonna learn about rhythm and it's gonna open your mind. You're gonna to start to see the world completely different, okay? You're gonna you're gonna see things that normal people don't see. You're gonna become basically a shaman, a, a witch doctor. Every drummer is a witch doctor, okay? Period. Every musician, you have to embrace that. That there's something magic that happens in music, okay? It's not like you just play and that's it. No, man, you're moving energy, okay? All right, so um, the spiritual journey is something super deep, which we can talk about at length in another video, but that's one of the reasons you suck is you don't embrace that spiritual journey, okay? Uh, uh, the next reason, you have to move from a deep sense of dissatisfaction into drumming, okay? If you are unsatisfied with yourself, if you are not happy in your life, if you have difficulties that you are overcoming, you have to pour that into your drumming. You have to be willing to use that sadness, that pain, to move it into drumming. Every time you feel that, you say, man, if I don't get my drumming together, this is gonna go on and on and on. I have to get better so that I can accomplish one thing in my life, one great thing. Accomplishing that is an incredibly powerful force that you will not regret, okay? Move from a deep sense of dissatisfaction and sadness and pain or whatever it is, you use that, okay, to put it into your drumming. Get on that kit and start playing and stop thinking about that stuff and start thinking about dominating your body, okay? The next thing, uh, don't have a plan B. You're gonna suck at drumming if you have a plan B, okay? <laughs> plan B, oh, if nothing happens in 10 years, I'll just become a, an accountant or something. Don't have a plan B. That's a guarantee you're gonna suck, okay? The greatest drummers in the world 
have told me this. You know, Vinny said, I didn't have a plan B. I said, I'm going to do this or I'm going to die. That's the level of commitment that you need to have. That's how hard it is to be a great drummer. You think you're going to be a, a, a great drummer just by milling around and hoping that things are going to get better. No, man. You have to be willing to put your life on the line, okay? These are things that people told me that I later realized that were the truth. And now nobody talks about it. Everybody wants to be red, roses and wine and, and know, okay, yeah, cool. No, man. You have to commit. You have to put every ounce of energy, every piece of your soul into your music, okay? That's how you become great. All right. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is risk tolerance. You have to get used to taking risks. You have to be a risk monster. In, in New York, you know, there are people say, we don't want to be comfortable. We want to be always on that edge, always on the edge of insecurity, so we can use that energy to move, to get better, to put that into the music and not be comfortable. The minute we're comfortable, the music starts to suffer, okay? That's the level of commitment you have to have. I know it's crazy, but the, hey, man, you want to be great or you want to be mediocre, okay? Risk tolerance. Risk tolerance you have to develop so that you can endure through all these things, all right? The risk, what's the risk? The risk is your life. If you do drumming, if you do it and you do it and you do it in 10 years and 15 years and nothing happens, and you say, oh, I'm gonna quit drumming. The risk is later, and I've seen this happen many times. Oh, I should have never quit drumming. What an unhappy life I have. Why did I quit drumming? Why? That's the risk, okay? An unhappy life. Because when drumming is in your blood, you're not getting rid of it. It's in your blood for good. You are a lifer, okay? You're not getting out of that. <laughs> I've seen that happen over and over in many parts of the world. I just got one final story for you. I was in Russia. I've played it in Russia many times. I've played all over the world, okay? And there's, there's this old guy came up to me, real old guy, and he, after the concert, and he's shaking my hand. He's looking at me. He's shaking my hand. He says, never stop playing. Never stop playing. I used to be a drummer, and, and now I'm a rich guy. You know, he's a super rich guy. He had two bodyguards behind him. I forgot to tell you, he had these two monstrous bodyguards. And he's like, look at me. I have so, I have so much money. I have everything. I have to have these two guys with me all the time because I don't know if somebody's going to kidnap me or, or try to you know, come up to me and ask for money or, or whatever. I used to be a drummer. I was so happy. Now all I want to do is play drums, and I can't anymore. You know, don't be that guy. I never forgot what he told me, okay? So, really quick, believe in yourself. Get out of your comfort zone. Uh, uh, wrong people around you. Wrong thinking about music. The spiritual journey, take the, accept the spiritual journey. Move from deep despair, deep sadness, and deep dissatisfaction into your drumming. Don't have a plan B and risk tolerance, okay? Develop a big, big risk tolerance. Okay, my friends, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please write me. Uh, I wanna hear your comments and join the lesson site. If you wanna study with me, philmontorano.com, the biggest drum lesson site on the planet because we've got the right information if you, you have me on your side. If you want to learn what the pros know, join us on the lesson site, okay? Peace out.